Oh, sweet. All right. What do we have here? Well, I've been waiting for a long time for the Sigma 35 1.4 aperture lens for the Sony E-mount camera and Sony, I tell you what, I love you, but your actual lens, the Sony lens, the uh, Distagon 35 1.4 is way too expensive. $1,500, are you kidding me? Come on. So the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4 aperture lens for E-mount is still not available. And rumors have it that it's not gonna be released until July now. July is, is insane. So if you remember correctly, it was April, late April, early May, the Sigma 35 millimeter for E-mount was going to be released. That didn't happen. And then people started to say, the end of May maybe. That didn't happen either. Now people are saying, oh, it'll come mid-June, and others are saying early July. I couldn't wait any longer. You know, I've been waiting ever since the end of April for this lens, couldn't wait any longer. So today, what we have in this box right here, is a Sam Yang 35 millimeter 1.4. All right, there you have it. Now let's go snap some photos and take the video. Okay, right now I'm filming in 4K at 24 frames per second. This is the continuous autofocus, so it looks pretty good. This is wide open at 1.4. I'm gonna walk back real quick. This is with a 35 millimeter Sam Yang lens, and then I'm gonna walk forward and see how well it works. Am I still in focus? I think so. Over here. Over here. Now right here. There we go. In focus. All right, that's 4K on the continuous autofocus using 1.4 wide open on the 35 millimeter Sam Yang lens on the A7 III.
So on Sunday, I grabbed all my camera gear and we went out to the balloon festival, not knowing what we we're gonna see. I hope to see some balloons and them firing them up, but man, it was incredible with the helicopters and all that stuff. <laughs> it was way more than I expected. And it was a perfect place to go test out the Sam Yang lens. The Sam Yang 35 millimeter 1.4 aperture lens is just hands down blew my mind. Now I don't have a lot of experience with really nice glass. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but this lens, boy, did it perform. I shot an S log two, and then I did a little uh, color grading and it turned out beautiful. This lens is, you know, it's here to stay. I was really, really wanting the Sigma 35 um, and the Sigma 35 is out now and you probably already know that, <laughs> but I'm just gonna stick with this Sam Yang that I got uh, a week ago because I think, I think it's pretty darn good and I can't imagine, you know, getting anything any better than this. I'm gonna get good with this lens, probably get an 85 in my in my bag and maybe uh, a 135. So there you have it, you know, it's a perfect lens. Hey, like, because it really does make a difference and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. Thank you and have a great day.